All right, what is going on guys? Coach Joe, not at the Lion's End. We are at Carbon Culture Gym in Tennessee with one of my greatest friends, John Call, Juji Mufu. And today he's gonna take me through a little bit different style of a shoulder workout. Typically, most strength sport athletes start off with pressing, but we're not gonna do that today, are we? No, we're gonna end with pressing. <laughs> okay. So this whole thing is I'm trying to find the odds as a strong man. I wanna be strong and jacked. I don't wanna be a fat strong man. I wanna be athletic and flexible. So, we're going to be talking about this stuff as we get into our training video today, but it's going to be a lot of fun, so let's go. Okay. Oh, uh, wait, I got to go tell them to turn down the music real quick. Watch this. It's very loud, I'm not going to lie. And uh, we definitely will lose modification, for sure. Apparently at the front desk, they don't actually know who's controlling the music. It's some other culprit in this gym. Has, a, has an iPod or something hooked up to Wi-Fi, I guess, so. I guess I'll just tap on everyone's shoulder, but <laughs> iPods, everyone, yeah. But uh, we're gonna start with this because I never get to use this and neither do you and neither do any of them watching and neither do any of us because none of us have it. A multi flight machine. So it's like a, uh, it's like a lateral raise. Hey, hey, YouTube clout right there. <laughs> so it's like doing double lateral raises except for it's got a constant uh, tension on the strength curve so it doesn't have any like weird spots so we're trying to figure out whether you're, oh does my elbow have to be here do my wrists have to be here do the pinkies turn out it's just the machine locks you in you just get a good shoulder pump so let's do it i'm gonna go thank her real quick yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice shoulders are all warmed up with some mobility work now we're just gonna smack it with this machine a bunch of times <laughs> I like this one a lot. Gives you a good full range of motion. Definitely isolating the, uh, the shoulders like crazy. Uh, so I think it's gonna be good. It's a little bit different of a workout, John talking more about it. But uh, we're starting without pressing, which I never really have done before. I'm always pressing as my first movement. Uh, so this is different for me, but like I said, trying to grow these babies, get some caps, some shelves to hold up these straps a little bit higher and uh, it's gonna be good. What about this thing? Okay, so Prime Fitness has been making these machines that have, uh, you, you could pick where the resistance is in, in the movement, right? So you can change the strength curve. They started with bicep machines, so it's like, oh, it's hard in the middle, or it's hard at the beginning, or it's loaded right at the end, it's hard. The rear delt machine is one of my favorite machines. So in my gym, I have a barn right now. I don't have that many machines, but one of the machines I do have, is a chest fly combo rear delt because the rear delt's part of the back. Rear delts is what makes the shoulders look big. All right, everyone's always focusing on the lateral delts. But this back here, that's what gives the illusion that the shoulder's large. But not only that, it's one of the most functional muscle groups to have built up. And it's really easy to build up if you haven't been working on it. So like within a couple months of working it, you can just be watching the stack grow, work out the workout, which is encouraging, okay? So this prime machine has a resistance curve setting for the rear delt. <laughs> I'm getting chill bumps right now because I love this. I, I'm just so excited that this exists now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on lateral raises over here on these, uh, these standing lateral raise machines. We're gonna hammer the rear delts too. So a lot of machine-based shoulder work here. It's a very nice luxury, so I'm very thankful we have this. And of course, we're gonna move on to the pressing, but we're gonna smash our delts right now with, between the circuit. Just a warm up. But, uh, just a tip real quick, when you're doing rear delts, focus on making strength gains on this too. So don't just, don't limit yourself. I mean, go full stack, man. That's impressive. Looking good, looking good. Really right here, it's the muscle we're working. Rear delt. This is a muscle in the shoulder. It makes your shoulder look like a shoulder. If your shoulder doesn't look as big as you want. Every, should strong man be doing these? Yeah, man. I think everyone should be doing this because it protects against shoulder injuries. It's an aesthetic exercise. There's no drawbacks. The only thing is people don't even think to do it. All right, Joey, I want you to try something. Oh. I mess around with stuff sometimes. I want you to take your hands, put them here. I want you to just kind of slightly turn them in. This with this, open them up and try to press against this part. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Way harder. It's a little different. Sometimes just moving your grip, 
some of these isolation exercises because the a little bit different stimulus where you can really dial in and hit that muscle. Felt oh, that more like right in there. Yeah. Versus the, more in the rear, but okay. harder for sure. shirts here lion's den i got one colors dope matches my beard matches his beard matches everyone's beard he's got all sorts of them joey how do they how do they buy your shirts fastrank.net yep. find them click and purchase <laughs> oh. i'm just trying to feel the muscle man you're just getting ready to fly home aren't you i'm not flying very fast now come on come on you're falling you're falling <laughs> that is actually a pretty good image for this. Yeah. Okay, that's it, that's it. That's it. John, why are we doing this and not pressing? It's really throwing me off right now. I know it is. I'm just trying to mess with you, Joe. I want to make you super uncomfortable. You got to get out of your comfort zone in order to grow, literally and figuratively. That's what they say. Yeah, just don't ever, like, you know, if it makes you uncomfortable to fast for a week straight, that must be a good thing, right? No, I didn't make it out alive. Come on. <laughs> oh. You see, you're already starting to get the rear delvin bulb right there. Oh. That means we gotta start working that muscle now. Yeah. yeah let's get to the rear delvin. I felt like out. I started using my glutes in that too. <laughs> <laughs> I got pretty hey, bad. They say bodybuilding is nothing but isolation, but the fact is that when you get really that, into it, that got even compound. The curl is a compound. That was very compound. Yeah. Yeah. I fell to my calves. All right, so this is an exercise more people have accessible accessibility to. You get a cable stack, an incline bench, and. Preferably an easy curl bar cable attachment. All we have is this lat pull down bar right now. You're gonna grab wide, you lean back, and it's a front delt. Okay, so we work the side, we work the rear. All you gotta do is pull the head. You go all the way to the top. Okay, so this is not really safe to do if you're standing because your spine gets involved. But now that we're supported by this bench, boom, just like this. And it's really cool. It has a really good uh, resistance curve to it. It feels good all the way up, all the way back. The other thing you gotta pay attention to, and this is for bodybuilding training, but training in general, uh, you know, little machine settings, they're very technical, like minutia, are actually important. You should probably keep track of them. So for this exercise, I don't like the anchor point all the way to the bottom. I like it one or two up. That extra six to eight inches makes a huge difference. So when you're setting machine settings like this, and even like the incline, just always pay attention to what you're doing. You keep track of it. So work out the workout, it's consistent and you can get the right feel for the exercise, you know? There's your tip for the day. We're still not pressing yet, just saying. No. So, still not pressing. That's okay, Juji. That's all right. Good. All right, this exercise is how you put blankets on your bed. Just fanning out my sheets. Not helpful. It is, it is not helpful. I don't think it's helpful. Come on. I think your shoulders are getting bigger. This. Jesus Christ. Oh, right there. Yeah, definitely feel that as the reps get higher, for sure. Already in the front of the delt, baby. 
That's a pump. Pump's good. good. That, that was good. I feel a little bit in my traps too. Yeah. So added bonus, any bigger traps, so. You know, everyone's always like, everyone always wants to get the traps out of their shoulders. I understand. It's important to get your shoulders first. But if your traps start getting into it, who cares? You want big traps too. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Turn on your trap? Like, yeah. Oh, we're getting trap activation. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. That's okay. <laughs> the byproduct is what made your muscles get a little bit bigger. Hey guys, Joe is nice enough to offer and actually push it upon myself to make me advertise to you in the middle of one of his videos. Thank you, Joey, this is your idea. Yeah. Guys, I have a book called Legendary Flexibility. It's been very popular for four years. Originally only available as digital now. It is available as a humongoloid spiral book where you can actually take it with you. Here's routine five, universal flexibility routine for anyone who wants to get flexible. Take it with you, spiral, lay it down, do the exercises, get warmed up for a workout like this. Shoulders or any other type of flexibility you need. Stop wasting your time doing stretches you don't need to do and only do the ones you need to do. There are ones you need to do, trust me, and they're in the book. Thank you, Joey, for allowing me to promote my book, which I'm very passionate about. Now, rear delt pose. Oh, you keep looking like a bodybuilder. What is going on? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Guys, great book. I have the book. I use the book and you should too. So go check it out on his website. I'll link it right here. Here we go. Right there. No excuses now. You don't need a bunch of people in your gym like Eddie Hull to act like they're helping you get up 200 kilograms per hand. <laughs> oh. Is that cool? I feel like this is some futuristic-y contraption that hopefully, if I put my hand in here, it would wrap around my hand and give me like a mega dumbbell arm. But I don't think we're there yet. But almost. <laughs> you did 12? I could do more. All right. Go for 12. Go for 12. Go for 12, come on. Let's go. Oh. Well, I tried to lower the, I tried to lower these to see if it would, uh, I think they need to be higher. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they just yanked right out of it. Right yeah. All right, take two. Take two. Never happened. Come on. Let's go. Come on. I got to do more. I got to do more than 12. More than 12. Let's go. Beat me. Come on. Quit looking like a bodybuilder. I don't know why. Come on. Well, that was uneventful. I did, I did six and a half. I felt really confident in like rep four and five. And I was like, I had to stop working. <laughs> awesome. looking real good. It's a really good looking ear. Really muscular, well developed ear. Good triactions, good separation, good flow, good symmetry. Because I use Q-tips. Yeah, Q-tips, that's uh, right. Q-tips for them Q-gains, baby. <sighs> May not be the most jack guy here this weekend, but I'm maybe one of the strongest. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I like this, man. This is fun. It's cool. You want to do one more set of this? One more. Okay. I like. It. I was gonna stop it too. I was like, this feels good right now. Wanna, Everything's so pumped. I'm just doing this when you're so pumped. It just feels like uh, you feel less joint and more muscle. Uh, that's, wait, that's probably why we're doing pressing last. You think, right? Yeah. Like I would feel more in the muscle doing it last. Right. Than right in the beginning. So I could tell you that if you were to do a normal press, like an overhead press, yeah. standing, or a log press, right now, your back, you feel it, like. So if you're gonna do, I know I kind of cheated and baited you along in this video, but if you do a press, a seated dumbbell press or a Viking press, something that's a little more locked in, but still like yeah. heavy, is a really good option. If you're brave, then do like 20 rep set of a, like an overhead press. Okay, at the end. You know, at the end, yeah, yeah. Or something like that. But yeah, just stick the pressing at the end. And uh, yeah, I mean, typically when I start off with doing a press, I don't really feel much of my muscle. I'll right. feel it later in the accessory. So it was kind of a cool way to switch it up today. 
finish out with something like this. I just got all of my delts. I know, like, my delts are still small yeah. right now, so it's good. Yeah, it feels good. Delts yeah. are one of my favorite things to train, yeah. especially your rear delts. So yeah. hopefully you guys are taking notes and definitely give this workout a try. Yeah, and remember, your delts in your back can never be out of proportion with the rest of your body. You just know it. It's like, I don't know, man. It's I think like, that shoulders, dude. When they're done, they're done. Man, I guess you could say that for everything but calves. That's true. <laughs> That's why I don't work calves. They're too hard. They just keep going. Yeah, so they burn. All right, you ready? All right, here we go. We start with dumbbell press, seated. This is, you know, it's mostly compound. Now we're just moving like the machine press compound. So, pressing less today. Stuff. Try these. Yeah. Here we go. Switch it up. Oh, nice. Good, good, good. I felt the outside handle more than my shoulders. Yeah. Good. I do so much narrow pressing from strong man. Yeah. I just feel like. I'm not gonna get as much out of it. And if I go a little wider, so I can focus more on my shoulders. Okay. I'm probably cheating a little bit more by triceps on the inner. Yeah. So, I'm trying to get those shoulders to grow Good. wider. Yeah, I don't know if there's any room for growth left in the frame from the shoulders. Let me see. All right. Let me do some shoulder poses. It's way bigger than the wide. What's the shoulder yeah. I don't even know how to do one. How do you do a shoulder pose? I'm, look, I'm looking at them through this viewfinder on the camera. And it just it's not the same as standing next to them and looking at the shoulders when you're spotting them and stuff, so it's... Uh, you're way bigger in real life. <laughs> That's what people say, and I think tattoos make it not as easy to see the muscle either. Yeah, so it might be true. If I could go back in time, I probably wouldn't get tattoos yeah, until true. after my muscle career's done. <laughs> <laughs> How do you pose the shoulders? Yeah, sure. yeah. So, you have a couple shoulder poses that are more full body. That one. Yeah, but how do you know how to do these poses? I don't I'm know. So confused. I don't know. Are you watching YouTube videos? Yeah. Or yeah, maybe I watch YouTube videos on the treadmill. Oh. And what am I watching? A bunch of guys that are barely wearing things. Mm. <laughs> but here we go. So this one. Okay. Now that one is also gonna, you know, you're to show off all this too. Yeah. And this one. And then this one, I'm not too good at it, I'm working on it, but you pull the shoulder across with your arm. See that? That's why you so, want that so rear delt too, though, right there. Yeah, you want that rear delt. Do that. So there's just a few shoulder isolation poses, but most shoulder poses are going to involve more of a full body. Like a tricep pose, hey, that's a tricep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bicep pose, you got a bicep. Shoulder poses are a little bit harder to hit by themselves, but you know, if you have shoulders, um, you're healthier, you're stronger, you look like you work out even where you're wearing a t-shirt, and you walk around, you don't have to roll them up and still look like a big guy. Oh, still yeah. look like a big guy. Right, and the other thing is forearms as well. You know, a lot of grip training and strongman stuff, holding on to things, forearms carries. I mean, you don't, I mean, look, meat hooks just hanging down here. Yeah, this guy clearly works out. Yeah, you're gonna get that a lot. I get the, you get the workout thing a lot probably because the shoulders, the back, and the forearms are yeah. developed well enough mm -hmm. where people can just see your size and just shit just popping out of places. Is so. you coming on your legs or no? <laughs> no, not really, because I don't really walk around like this very often. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. I don't know why I'm wearing this today. I'm wearing short shorts on shoulder day, so whatever. yeah, whatever. All right, guys, super quick workout here at Carbon Culture in Tennessee with my man Juji Muthu, great friend of mine, always supporting me, so I always want to support him. Make sure you guys are following him and Tom on their channel, Juji and Tom. Great guys. Uh, really, honestly, just can't say enough about them. They're actually the reason I'm here. Uh, they got me out to this event, you know, just to help me out and grow my brand and following. Uh, so it just means a lot. So check out their stuff, their products and services. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. Hopefully you enjoy the video. And uh, I have to get on a plane and get back home to Philadelphia. So see you guys then. Stay at Lean Me Strike Machine. Talk to you next time. Peace.